few more hours, I think, before it, uh, it really sinks in. Um, but it, uh, you know, it's sort of, it still feels a little bit surreal at the moment. People who win medals like this and Olympic medals find themselves staring at it and playing with it and all that sort of stuff. Is it, have you, has it left your side since that last one? Yeah, it, uh, it's sort of been on a few other people's necks over the, uh, the last couple of hours. So uh, I think a lot of people enjoyed um, having a few drinks with it on. Can you get much sleep at all? Uh, I, I must have closed my eyes for an hour, Jones, I reckon. I'm, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a, it's hard to get some sleep, actually. It's uh, sort of a bit of an adrenaline rush as well. I heard that the boys um, at a certain point in the count realised that you were in with the show and they all um, hopped into the casino. So that must have been awesome to catch up with all the boys, the teammates. Yeah, yeah, look, it was uh, it was just fantastic. Uh, when I arrived, they sort of got there and they were all there and, you know, just as excited as sort of what I was. And so uh, just wonderful to be able to share it with them and uh, family and friends all turned up. So uh, it was a, ended up being a, a big night and, and I was there celebrating with the people I wanted to be with. So Does it make you crave premiership success even more? Because this would have felt amazing, but it's individual success. So imagine how much better a flag would feel. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's... Uh, it's hard to know what the guys, you know, from you know the Swans and the Hawks and, and how they're feeling, but you can imagine that uh, that uh, you know they're just sort of beside themselves with excitement, and, and it's sort of something that feeling that uh, you know had last night is something you want to emulate with your teammates, and uh, I think only uh, you know opportunity to be involved in a premiership would deliver that. How was it when so you finally got? You. Uh, how was it when you finally got the chance to talk to your dad? He must be immensely proud. Yeah, I think both him and Mum were really. Uh, sort of uh, a little bit emotional and uh, it was great to uh, sort of had a moment with them uh, at the back um, immediately after it. So, um, yeah, they, they were just proud like any parent would be, I think. And um, it was just great that uh, my sisters were able to come as well. So uh, it was a bit of a family affair last night. We've heard so much about your dad, but talk to us a bit more about your mum if you can, because obviously she's had an amazing influence on, on your life and your dad's life. And you seem like a really close family. Yeah, I think that, um, you know, mum's probably been involved in footy now for, I don't know, as long as she's known Dad, so sort of 25, uh, or even longer, 30 years. So it's probably been as just as much a drain on her as what it has been uh, on uh, on Dad himself. So I think that uh, just the enjoyment that, that she's got out of it and, um, you know, my sisters as well, um, we obviously grew up all sort of following footy and being heavily involved in footy. So, um, you know, they, uh, they certainly um, have really enjoyed the moment and, um, you know, Mum, I think it's just, uh, she gets a little bit emotional, but uh, I think she composed herself well enough last night. How did you celebrate? Uh, just all our friends, uh, family and friends came in and uh, uh, there was just a crown put a room on for us, which was uh, really nice of them and uh, just came and celebrated and a few drinks and Gavin Langanine was there and, uh, and Herdy and some past players as well. So it was, uh, it was great to, to see them and uh, just uh, enjoy the moment. Most former fans would see uh, Greg Williams as the enemy over the years, <laughs> but you credited him for, um, for playing a really crucial part in your success. Yeah, I mean, uh, just the, uh, I suppose the knowledge, uh, not only just on the field, but off the field that I, I learned from um, spending some time with Diesel just, uh, I think, put the game in a, in a different perspective for me and, uh, and made me think a lot more about the game and, and how to push yourself and, and how to be better and how to set a standard and, and keep as high a, a standard as you possibly can and, and not let you, not allow yourself to sort of drop and, uh, you know, so Diesel's been fantastic for me. And easing in the uh, Carlton Essendon rivalry, perhaps momentarily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think he really sort of uh, ever thought like that. He was just uh, happy to help out, and uh, I was certainly grateful that he gave me the opportunity. Just when you're talking about being in the room with uh, Wanganine and Eddie last night, a couple of ground line medalists as well. I mean, how does it feel to sort of look around and think I'm in the same company as, as those guys? Yeah, I mean, uh, I suppose you are um, in one regard in terms of the actual award, but, uh, you know, those guys are both um, multiple premiership players and um, and that's sort of something I think that, uh, you know, when you finish your career, it's, you, you want to be known for someone who's played in a premiership and, uh, and certainly, um, you know, that would be, you know, the goal for me and uh, that's where those guys sit in my mind is that they've had the ultimate team success and, and that's what we all play. Sorry, I just don't know. Like, do, you, do you feel like the problems are close? Do you still think you can sort of get there in the next few years? Yeah, look, I think that it's it's so even the competition and the amount of improvement a side can make from one preseason to the next. I mean, you, I think it's the 17 in the last 19 years. Someone outside the top eight's finished in the top four the following year. So, I mean, the game is conducive to a rapid amount of improvement. I think that um, you know we've got a lot of work to do, but um, I wouldn't be wouldn't be playing if I didn't think we were a chance to be successful.